Lads, just a quick one as well on Smart Assist, right? This is it in the detailed settings of your controller. Smart Assist off says control the shot power or dribble direction with your own inputs. This gives you full freedom of play. So that's what we've been playing with all along, right? If you turn Smart Assist on, it says that this option provides automated help with the controls. For example, it will select the power of a shot or the direction of a dribble according to the situation. This allows you to enjoy matches without complicated inputs. So I don't know how I feel about that one, man. So I'm actually going to show you what it looks like in game here, right? I actually don't do stun and shot here. So I have smart assist on. I don't do stun and shot, but watch, it changes it to stun and shot. So I'm just hitting a normal pass and it changes to stun and shot with the smart assist. So yeah, that's something that we'll definitely need to keep an eye on, to be honest with you, because it's, it's, it's obviously realizing that there's space to do the stun and shot, stun and pass, and it switches the bar for me. So I'm only pressing X there, but the smart assist is actually turning um that into a stunning pass so let me know how you guys feel about that we'll have to we'll have to look at it and also with this one out on the wing with martinelli i'm literally trying to let this ball through my feet and let run onto it like let it through my feet and it switches it into a skill move look now the skill moves look improved we'll touch on that as well the dribbling looks pretty slick but all i'm holding there is left on the r stick uh to, to let it run you know to run through my leg let the ball run through my legs and run onto it but it actually does a trick instead now that is with, as I said, that is with the, the pass assist that is on, you know, so, um, or the smart assist that's on, right? So it's on at that and it seems to be doing that sort of uh, funky stuff. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one.